Good morning, kids. Now it's time to learn English. And scramble the letters to get the correct answer. Correct. That is assonance. Another word. You got it right. That is alliteration. What word is it? Very good. That is onomatopoeia. Okay, do you have any idea what are those words? Very good. Those words are figures of speech. Here are our objectives for today. Define figure of speech, differentiate alliteration, onomatopoeia, and asinan. Construct sentences using figure of speech. When we say figure of speech, a figure of speech is a word or phrase that is used in a non-literal way to create an effect. Take a look at it. Onomatopoeia. Alliteration. Assonance. What is onomatopoeia? When we say onomatopoeia, it refers to words that imitate sounds. It also pertains to words that have the same sound and meaning. Examples Ring, click, slurp, pl splash, tickle, tickle. Another example Crackle, kiss, board, mom, ouch, bump, crack, snuff, swoosh, no. Here are the sentences using onomatopoeia. I trapped the casserole that made a loud bump. The dog worked at the sparrow if it was cheesy. Number three, the snap. She snaps her finger every time she sings. The snakes glittered and teased. Number five, I hear the swoosh of the Queen of River. Let's go to alliteration. When we say alliteration, a statement or word combination where every word begins with the same sound. Most tongue twisters are good examples. Is, it the, is the repetition of beginning sounds in two or more neighboring words within a line? Example, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Time tells the tales, tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Another example of alliteration. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he wood as much as he could, chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. 